This is me. My name's Melissa, and this is my son Brennan. I've been a single mom since Brennan was born. We're from a small town in Massachusetts called Tuxbury. In 2017, I decided to move us to fabulous Las Vegas. In this story, you're gonna see the journey of a single mom from introvert to limelight. Hi loves, welcome to Famous Mom. As I'm sure you could tell from Nikki's high kick, this is a special night out in Vegas. That pretty blonde girl, she's my best friend and business partner and also happens to be one of the best planners of fun events. She threw in all the bells and whistles for tonight and got all of us girls a limo. I even broke out my fanciest blinged out heels that I own. The motto of the night, have fun. She said she left your boot. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, okay, yeah. um, 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 it's, uh, you missed it. Oh my god, so fun! So fun! Since Brennan and I moved here over four years ago, with most of our family back on the East Coast, I actually don't do the Vegas nightlife thing very often. So with Nikki planning such an extravagant night out, I plan to do a little work and then spend the rest of the day getting ready. But when Nikki comes to Vegas, we start the festivities early. So needless to say, this is me multitasking and doing some work on my phone real quick. A little pause to do some dancing and I'm right back at it. The day was jam packed. We ended up going to lunch in downtown and then we walked Fremont Street and then I had to drop Brennan off at his sleepover and by the time we got back to the house to get ready, we had exactly 37 minutes to go from grub to glam. I think we totally pulled it off. Although, later on you'll notice that I didn't even have time to blend my makeup. <laughs> it's real bad. But, oh well, we are having fun no matter what. Before we head to the strip, we just gotta pick up a couple more girls, and then we're on to our champagne toast and our limo, as long as we can figure out how to open it. One, two, three. Yeah! Woo! It's so easy! It's your look at you next. Thank you, love. So the plan now that we're here is to go to a secret speakeasy. I wish that I got footage of going in, but I was so afraid because it's so secretive. I might get in trouble for saying this, but if you go to the Cosmopolitan, when you first walk in, there's a barber shop. I think we went through the broom closet. Check it out. Thank you. 
If you want to feel probably the fanciest you'll ever feel, come to Chandelier Bar. So as you can see, the whole entire place is just made of gorgeous chandeliers. I'm pretty sure there's three levels. I've been here a few times and I've actually only been on the first level and so this was exciting. I was going to the second level this time. I was really, really praying that I didn't fall down the stairs, but I made it. Those shoes are pretty high. And then this is why I like the second floor because there's these areas that you just sit inside of your own chandelier crystals. It's amazing. And then the food, the drinks, also amazing. Look at this. Even though that all seemed fun, we're now headed to the highlight of the evening, VIP at Marquee Nightclub. So it turns out the highlight of the night was not for me. So this is a little bit off topic, but I was told when I was young that my tastes would change and I didn't think they ever would. I thought that I was gonna love going clubbing my entire life. Well, turns out <laughs> in my 30s, I don't really love it all that much. So I had to get out of there. Lucky for me, I had a friend who showed up there and told me we could go check out Resort World and that seemed more my speed than a club where there's just way too many people that actually like move around. So we're about to go check out Resort World for the first time. Hi! This is what my channel is about, just me doing this all day. <laughs> I like the lighting. Katie, Katie Perry. Perry's here right now. Katie Perry's this here right now. Wow, it's a fancy Starbucks. Look at this large corridor. Yeah, the I love really it. Cool. The I love awesome. it. <laughs> oh, there's the eight. Yeah, it's pretty huge in here. This place rocks. So it's actually pretty recently built. I can almost see it from my house, but not exactly. But I have been so curious to see what the inside looks like. I took the opportunity to jam out and drink my water. That's actually the only drink I have all night except for my little champagne in the limo. But now it's bedtime. I was so tired, I think it was like 2.30 in the morning, but on our way back, I saw this wall of these ceramic donuts. <laughs> I had to capture that, look at how pretty that is, and delicious. On the way out, I also had to quickly document all the amazing musical talent that's coming to Resort World soon. Yeah. Yep. Who's that? Oh, Carrie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. That, look at that arena. Wow. I hope you don't mind if I just rattle off for a few minutes. 
I just have to say, I am so blessed and grateful and thankful to live in Las Vegas. I love it here. I got away from the snow. Some people like snow. I'm not one for the snow. I got away from the snow. I get to live in this amazing city where there's so much talent and so much to do. I really believe that if you want something bad enough in your life, go for it. I wanted to live here and I did it. If there's something you want, go for it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute.